house. Well, this is everything goes on 200 for 20 minutes. Well, I don't understand how to work this. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name's Hayley, aka Mama C, and today is Saturday and we're doing um, a couple of different videos and we're just making cinnamon board foods basically. I've got my mum here, she's featuring in a couple of videos, and I've got my nan here who's going to do the taste test, and then um, my oldest child has just turned up, so she's helping us out, and we've got the Littlies as well, so they're just hanging out in the lounge at the moment. Don't forget to watch until the end of the video because you'll get to see the taste test. Nan is going to eat some of the foods and give us an honest opinion on it, and she will give us an honest opinion, she's got dementia, so there's no filter. And, um, and we'll know exactly what they taste like and we'll show you how we make them throughout the process as well and don't forget to like the video leave us a comment down below click the subscribe button that would be super super helpful and if you do watch to the end that's going to be absolutely amazing as well for me because it's really going to help me out with bringing up my uh, watch time hours so that i can hopefully continue to make all of these videos um, in the long run so if you could do that that would be absolutely fabulous guys have a lovely weekend and um enjoy the video right we're starting the similar scotch eggs that one cracked when i it doesn't matter, we can still pop it in, can't I, I don't know, will it? I mean, the, you have to have two eggs beaten, so I could you use that as the one to beat? Oh, yes. So, because I, I bought an extra egg, just in case. We were discussing this then about eggs, because on my meatballs, never thought I could have mixed an egg in to bind it all together yeah, better. Yeah, and that would have worked, but never mind. And eggs are free. You live and you learn, Hannah Pie. So, we're boiling up some eggs. Um, it says on the recipe, because I follow recipes, Mum, yeah? Um, <laughs> that's a lie, I've told you before, I don't ever follow recipes properly. I'll put that um, and it says five to six minutes for that. And then lot. what I'm gonna do, I've, I'll show you the what I've got. So these are the Slimming World sausages. Now it says you need two packs of these. Um, and these are free, they're not sinned, which is amazing, but it's like three pound a pack, so. They would give me to take camping actually, because I do like to have a proper cooked breakfast when I'm camping. Yeah, I mean, they're worth it for your cooked breakfast, but I just don't feel like they're worth it for making scotch eggs. But I don't know, we'll see how scotch eggs turn out whatever and um, so we've got those and then you basically then need to have curry powder i've got mild curry powder and um, so four eggs to boil 50 grams of wholemeal bread which i'm going to weigh out in a second we've got my bread here um two packs of slim world free food pork sausages um one to two teaspoons of curry powder so we'll put two and then two tablespoons of dried parsley one teaspoon of mixed herbs and then two eggs beaten so what we're going to do first of all is put the bread in the food processor. Well, we've already discussed this. We don't have a food processor, so we're going to try another way to make some fine breadcrumbs. Um, I don't know whether you can buy like the pre-done breadcrumbs because you class this as a sin anyway. So if you can get wholemeal pre-done breadcrumbs, I've just used 50 grams of those because it will make your life a lot easier. Um, skin the sausages. I've not opened them yet, so we'll have a look at that. Um, and mix together the sausage meat, curry powder, dried herbs in a food processor. Season lightly and blend until fairly smooth. Transfer to a bowl and divide the mixture into four portions, because that's obviously gonna wrap that round your, um, around your eggs then before you put it in the oven. Um, and then what you do is take an egg, wrap the mince around it until it's fully encased. Beat the remaining eggs, dip each scotch egg in the beaten egg, and then roll in breadcrumbs. Place on a baking tray for how long? 20 minutes, it's a spray with fry light, ain't got any fry light. <laughs> and you put it in a fan oven 180 for 20 minutes. Eat hot or cool completely, and then cover and chill until you're ready to eat. So sorry I wasn't looking at the camera then, I was reading it out to you. But that's basically what it says to do. The recipe is also on the app. So I'm going to start doing that now and we'll see what happens. Hey, what oh dear, what does <laughs> that look like? <laughs> oh, that's a bit weird. <laughs> These are the sausages. They're quite easy to skin. These are partly defrosted because they've been out of my freezer for a couple of hours now. <laughs> and you just had to pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's making me cringe. Oh, it's making me cringe too. Has this one been done? Yes, I've done that one. This one's been skinned already. Um, oh, we need to do this bag as well. Gosh, I thought that was in the last one then. Yeah. What did they make the skin out of? I don't know. <laughs> if you know what sausage, what what skin is made out of on sausages, on the Slimming World sausages, comment though. comment below because we don't know what it is. We could Google it, but it's going to be the Slimming World sausages. We'll just, isn't it? We'll just ask you guys. You're faster so. than me. Well, I'm used to it. Experience. <laughs> um, right. So it's just okay. give me hands a bit of a. Can smell. I get thrown now? You don't need yeah, those things. Yeah, then. you don't need that. I like to throw things in the bin as soon as I've done. I, I'm quite a tidy cook as well, to yeah. be honest. I do like my hands. Right, so, is this is done. Right, it says to put the bread in the food processor. Let's just weigh this bread, because I only had one of the big 800 gram loaves. And um, so that's to take two slices, because one slice is like 43 grams or something. But that was including the crust and not gonna blitz the crust. No. So, um, can you have the cup for the bits? If you're gonna blitz it, well. Right, so I've got um, two <laughs> measuring bread. Nan will be like, you are. Um, I've got two of the wholemeal, like normal um, size slices of bread, and I've took the crust off. 
and put it on my scales and it's coming at 47 48 grams it can't quite dissolve uh, but so we need 50 grams so just do that so um yeah two slices of wholemeal bread and then take the crusts off and that's your 50 grams basically if you can't bother to measure it out because you just like there my nan's demanding cake so she's just had an angel slice she's having it she said she wanted battenberg so i don't know if she's satisfied with her angel slice so i've used the um the hand blender to like do the bread into bread crumbs and it's not done a bad job you know like look all right not too bad so i'm I, I haven't had my healthy extra today so i don't know if i could class this partly as a healthy extra i'm sure you could um because you can only you can't have two slices when it's a big no so you've got to put loaf. some sins so you still have to put some sins but it says one and a half per scotch egg to have we been timing the next no then just started boiling oh how long do you want us to boil you up till they're hard isn't it oh well, i'll just leave them then <laughs> um five ten minutes i mean the recipe tells you how to boil eggs you don't need to know how to boil eggs guys we all know how to boil an egg um, so yes, it's made the bread crumbs up. So I suppose you could probably use half as like your healthy extra, and then you could take the sins of one slice of bread and then share that out. Um, I don't quite know how they've worked out the sins, but for the purposes of the video and my Slimming World day, I'm just gonna when I eat it, I'm just gonna class it as the full one and a half sins. Is give it the birds it's for the birds because we are counting birds in the garden this weekend. It's a bird watch. Oh, so I'm gonna put that outside. I'm not counting the birds. So I've got time to watch them. But we'll get Nan to count. Them. Nan, oh, Nan can look out the window and count birds. Winter. Yeah, two pounds. <laughs> My lemons in. Where's it from? Wilco. Uh, yes, got deal on at the minute. Right, what I'm doing at the minute is because I haven't got a food processor and I've got one at home anyway, so even if I was doing this at home, I wouldn't be putting it in the food processor. Um, I'm, I've, these have been out of the freezer for a little bit, so they've kind of partly defrosted, but they are still frozen inside. Um, just to make life easier, I'm going to pop them in at microwave on defrost just to get them softened up a bit. And then I'll mix in all the herbs and the curry powder and whatever, and then I'll just get my hands in and do it. Um, and then that's basically ready to go around the outside of the eggs. Um, and then we can dip it in the, no, in the beaten egg, roll it in the breadcrumbs, and then they're ready for the oven. My hands are really, really freezing doing this, that's why I'm pulling first. <coughs> <That's laughs> yeah, but that's why she's not helping. Can't both like, get hands in the sausages, or on the sausages. <laughs> Is that all of them? No, there's another one. This looks like a lot of sausage, mate. It does, don't it? It does say two packs, so we'll see how we go. Right, we've defrosted the sausage, so this is how it's looking. One to two teaspoons of curry powder. Let's whack a bit of that in. Are we going for a level teaspoon? Yes. Oh no, a bit more, make it a bit more spicy. <laughs> right. Two teaspoons I've put in, then what do we need? Two tablespoons of dried parsley. It's a good job that I add another. I've got parsley. I've got one, I add another one in my cupboard at home. That's me being responsible and reliable. That's something you're never going to see again, Huns. Well, yeah, so, because you forgot the fire light too. Well, yeah. But... And what are we saying? A teaspoon of mixed herbs. So this is how it's looking. So I'm going to just basically squidge it all together and then flatten a piece out, put an egg in it and put it all round it. What are you doing now, Eli? I'm making a video. Oh, what? Making I'm making eggs. a video. I'm making some scotch eggs and I'm and I'm videoing it. <laughs> I'm not getting on very well with eggs. It looks so strange. <laughs> it looks so strange. What looks strange? Do I look like I'm talking to myself? Oh, you might have to do these eggs because of this side it's coming off. She's ruining my recipe, guys. If they look rubbish, it's her fault. What is that? <laughs> Shocking. The first one came out okay. Call yourself a mother. Can't even cook. And this is why I put an extra egg in. <laughs> yeah, that's why she's boiled an extra egg. Yeah. Little... Good job I bought an extra egg in it. Right, I'm I'm mixing this now. I'll check back with you in a tick. Say hello. Hi. What's that got in there? Meg's come to be judgy, as per usual. Okay. Oh, right. you don't Can I just right say, right, judgy. dinner time in my house, every night we say to Megan, what do you think of dinner, Meg? Do you like it? And then we get the same response every single day. And she goes, it's all right. Am I, is that am I telling the truth or am I telling the truth? Sometimes I tell you it's disgusting. She's polite. At least she's honest. <laughs> me. She's like, what are you doing? You already give me one. We're supposed to be doing spaghetti with them. Megan's just having to go back my meatballs. Mm. You said you don't want onion in them. No, I never said don't want onion in them. It's got apple yeah. in it. It's really got apple. Yeah. Oh, I'm not eating that. These are mum's meatballs, look. If we'd have had fried light, it might have looked a bit more attractive. But the taste, and the taste, no. Mm. Apple. What's a solid one, that? Mm. That I think that really tastes good. too bad actually. I think that's good. What's in that? That's just the sausages, the, the slimming world sausages mushed up. That's going to really go around. That's going to go around my eggs that I've peeled. 
but not really successful. There's still, there's still shell on it. <laughs> She's annihilated it and then left <laughs> shell on it. She's sabotaging my recipe, yeah. I'm not having that. I've been using a fork to do my sausage meat, but this is how it looks. not very, don't look attractive, does it? It looks like dog sick. Um, but, <laughs> but it smells nice. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to put this round the eggs and then we'll get it in the oven. But it's all blended up now. I mean, if you haven't got a food processor, it's a good opportunity to do your body magic because it's hard work to get this all mushy. Mushed together now, nice and mixed. Mixed together. So, winning at life. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is double check the quality of mother's egg cleaning. <laughs> Because um, they don't want their shells, because then Nan will be going, there's a shell in there. And she'll tell me I'm for not cooking things properly. I don't know how much of this you're supposed to take. It says to like flatten it out, right? And then put your egg in, and then to just basically encapsulate your egg. Oh no! No milk. So that was easy. What it looks like. Got that, Meg? Yeah. It looks fantastic. Yeah. It looks like a dinosaur egg. It looks really good. Right, then, it looks like you then, Mum. You have to... <laughs> then you have to wrap it like head down in the egg, the beaten egg. And then put it in the breadcrumbs. It's a nice big... Um, big one. I like a big... I like a chunky that looks like one already and it's not even got an egg in it. So we'll flatten it down, put our egg in. It's like playing with Play-Doh. That's disgusting. I bet with those then you could have put the egg in half, covered that like that. I suppose you could do like and then a you can half split your an sins. egg. Yeah. You can split your sins with, because of the breadcrumbs. Yeah. So you could make your, so you could do like, you could make smaller ones, yeah. And then just divide down your, because if it's four, so it's four, so it'd be six sins for all four. So if you just have however many you made and then divide it by six and that's your sin value for mm -hmm. each one. So if you made six, it's just a sin each. Yeah. Right, Did you already put all those things in to that or? What do you mean? Like those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. Yeah. yeah. All, all of that herbs and things in there. So I'd say you don't need that much sausage meat, like I've just made two, one of them's a bit too big, so just a palm and... I've got probably one pack of sausage. I don't think one sausage, one pack would have done it, you know. How many packs did you buy? Two. But they're the slimming world ones, they're plumbing expensive. I'd <coughs> be cross about that. <coughs> there, Mum. Just getting a bit more, so probably just a bit more in a palm size. You do need a lot of sausage meat for this. There is a lot of, um, a lot of sausage meat. Um, I think maybe I didn't use enough on each one. What I'm going to do the rest of the sausage meat is just roll it into balls and then it just big meat balls are the bags but not mum said, so it's mum's idea. And in the oven at the moment. So I don't know if you can see, I hope granddad's oven is clean because we're at granddad's house. Right, the scotch eggs are done. Yeah. And they look quite, I mean, it's not exactly a scotch egg but I think it looks like a pretty good alternative. And we made our extra little meatballs which Megan is literally hunkering for. I want it. Go on then. It's got nothing else in it other than Slimming World sausage. No. I'm going to try and eat more. A hot. Dry. A hot. Tastes nice. Should you taste it? A bit dry. Yeah. That's a sausage, isn't it? That's a Slimming World sausage meatball. Mm. Well, so if you're going to make meatballs, do it with mints. I prefer that to normal meatballs, so. They do taste nice, don't they? Do okay. So, we'll give them a chop chop and see what they look like inside. Right, she's still eating meatballs. Chopped it in half. And it looks nice. Look at that. Well, it looks like a scotch egg. Yeah, it looks... not having too much scotch on the outside. <laughs> yeah, but it looks good, don't it? Yeah. So, we'll do a taste test. How much do you want, Mum? I want the one without breadcrumbs. Oh, yeah, you do. I don't want any more sins. Yeah, but you're only having a tiny no, little I bit. I don't want any sins. No, I'm really good. Thank you very much. I made some scotch eggs. Look. So tell me what you think of it. <laughs> Eat your cheese then first. Yes. Which piece do you want this piece? I don't know, a piece. Well, lots of egg or a little bit. I don't mind, give me one. Nice. Me too. Is that one without the mm -hmm. um, breadcrumbs? If Megan says it nice, then we're winning at something. Mm. 
I would say that the breadcrumbs around the outside. Around the outside, around the outside. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Nan left. Um, yeah, but Nan's old. <laughs> the breadcrumbs around the outside don't make much of a difference, to be honest, in terms of flavour. It just gives it a bit of a crispy edge. So, and it gives it the sins. If you want to save on the sins, just don't bother. Mm. What do you think, Nan? Is it nice? Oh, another one little bite. Have another one, then. Oh. Oh, I made that. Mm, it's nice. Do you like it? You'd tell me if you didn't like it, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, does it have lots of flavour? Well, it's very flavoured. I've got salt and pepper and stuff. Oh, well, it's okay. Never mind, that's all right. But you like your scotch egg? Amazing, that's good stuff. Oh, oh Megan, so Megan so wants me. We've been doing Oliver's session school. Go on then, Oliver. I suppose on this occasion. Oh, you want to get some more? Please. You can get yourself, get a whole one if you want a whole one. I, I, ain't, massive look at I ain't cooking no tea tonight, so I'd scoff what you can while you can if I was you. Can I just add, right, because this isn't the first time I've seen it and Megan's just shown me a TikTok of a woman who is making a kid's lunch for the next day. And last night I was looking at TikTok and there's another woman making a kid's lunch. Who makes their kids' lunches for them? What? These kids? Their kids are like three. No, they're not. The one I've seen. Megan, you've been making your own sandwiches since you were four, and they're not that age because you get free school dinners at that age, so that's a load of rubbish. They're old enough to make their own bloody lunch boxes. Do why? Why are we doing it? Why are we the slaves? No! Because you burst us! That doesn't, that's why! That doesn't mean you can't make your own lunch. If you weren't prepared to make our lunch, why did you have us? Doesn't, I'm not, not prepared to make your lunch. I'm, I'll make you dinner. Look, I do feed you. I go buy the lunch. I go to work to pay for the lunch. Look, I'll provide you're on maternity lunch, leave. But I'm, I'm on maternity leave, 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 yeah. But what happened <laughs> to teaching kids responsibility? Like, no, you wonder why the kids are today are like, can't do anything for themselves. I can do things and, for myself. Yeah. You don't do anything for me. Because I, who makes you do it? You've been making your own sandwiches since you're four. You wouldn't be doing that if I didn't make you do it. So stop making kids lunches and get them to do it themselves. Mum's having more. Having another half.